Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square ABCD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, is uh, 5 units. And moreover, this uh, diagonal uh, AC and this segment uh, EF intersect each other at this point uh, P. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green shaded triangle uh, AFP. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, BF is 2 units. And this segment uh, DE is uh, 3 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle AFP. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD. And we know its side lengths uh, are 5 across the board. So therefore, uh, this side AB is going to be 5 units as well. And we know this uh, segment uh, BF is 2. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, AF has got to be 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3 units. And likewise, this whole uh, side uh, of this uh, square is uh, 5 uh, units. And we know this uh, segment uh, is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, AE is going to be 5 minus 3 is going to give us uh, 2 units. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, AC is the diagonal of this uh, blue square. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And likewise, uh, this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And now we are going to think outside the box. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, QE on this side uh, AD. And since uh, this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well, so both of these lines uh, EQ and this uh, line AF are uh, parallel to each other. And now let's focus on this uh, white triangle uh, AEQ. And we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees. And since the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we can see that this uh, triangle uh, AEQ is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is 45 degrees. Uh, and this angle is 45 degrees as well. And since the, this is an isosceles triangle, so therefore uh, this side uh, AE has got to be equal to this side uh, EQ. If this side is 2 units, uh, then EQ side is going to be 2 units as well. So thus we figured out uh, this side uh, EQ length uh, as 2 units. And now since these uh, two side lengths uh, are parallel to each other, so therefore we conclude that this uh, angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. Both of them are alternate angles and they are congruent. And likewise, uh, this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle as well, since uh, they are our vertical angles. So therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny triangle uh, EPQ and this uh, green shaded triangle uh, AFP are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And now since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 2 units whereas uh, this side length uh, is uh, 3 units. So therefore uh, the side lengths uh, of uh, these two triangles ratio has got to be 2 to and this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, M and that passes through this point P. And now we can see that this uh, MP is the height uh, 
of this uh, green uh, triangle and our task is uh, to calculate uh, the length of this uh, height uh, MP and since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of the side lengths uh, MP and PN has got to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, AF and EQ and here we can see our this uh, AF segment length uh, is uh, 3 units so I'm going to replace that one with 3 units and likewise uh, this uh, EQ segment uh, length uh, is uh, 2 units so I'm going to replace that one with uh, 2 so therefore uh, our MP to this uh, PN ratio turns out to be equal to 3 divided by 2 so therefore we can write uh, as this uh, MP length uh, as uh, 3 times uh, some constant uh, K and likewise uh, this uh, PN segment length uh, is going to be 2 times some constant K as well so I can write uh, P n equals to 2 times some constant k as well and now our task is uh, to find the value of this constant uh, k and now let's make an observation we can see our this uh, mp segment length uh, is uh, 3 times k so I can write down this one as uh, 3 times k and likewise uh, this uh, pn segment uh, length is uh, 2 times k so I'm going to write down 2 times k over here. So therefore we can see that our this whole uh, mn length is going to be 3k plus 2k. So therefore uh, this whole uh, mn length uh, is uh, going to be 5k. And we know this uh, mn length uh, is same as this uh, ae length which is uh, 2. So therefore I can equate uh, 2 equals to 5 times k. So thus I can write uh, 5 times uh, k equals to 2. Let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate k. This 5 and 5 is gone. So therefore uh, our this constant k value turns out to be 2 divided by 5. So thus our k value turns out to be 2 divided by 5 and our this uh, segment uh, MP is uh, 3 times K so therefore I can write uh, our this uh, MP segment is going to be 3 times uh, K where our K value is 2 fifth so therefore our this uh, MP segment uh, length is going to be 3 times uh, 2 fifth and if we multiply this one that is going to give us uh, 6 divided by 5 so thus our uh, segment MP length turns out to be 6 divided by 5 and we know our this uh, MP is the height uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle so our height of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 6 divided by 5 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, AFP and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height and in our case uh, the base uh, of this green triangle is uh, 3 and the height uh, is uh, 6 divided by 5 so therefore the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be a half uh, times our base is uh, 3 times our height is uh, 6 uh, divided by 5 and if we multiply and simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 9 uh, divided by 5 so therefore we can write this one in terms of decimal as uh, 1.8 uh, square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green shaded triangle uh, AFP turns out to be 1.8 uh, square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.